of who I would want to be in like my everyday life, I guess. It's more confidence. That's what like I really just go for in full drag. This is a shy little boy in his little closet, waiting for the exposure. Okay, so I'm, this is going to be called Drag Me Up 2. I'm in a really big rush because if you know me, I had all the shit from my family. A great job on the documentary um, for Shy Little Boy. So I, I thought it was just a really beautiful snapshot into the Jackson, Wyoming drag scene. Um, I think you guys did a really beautiful job of capturing just the creativity and talent that is so prevalent in the drag community and in the artists that you guys were um, capturing. Um, I love the opening. All the shots in the club were just super beautiful and, you know, dynamic and entertaining to watch. And even just the small details in the room that you guys captured when the two um, performers were getting ready. I thought that was, you know, there was just great attention to detail throughout. And it was just such an important story that I think more people should see and I think more people would love to see. So I think you guys did a really great job with this. So good. It was a short documentary following uh, the journey and lives of two drag queens in the US. I'm personally just getting into uh, the world of drag as of this year. And so I find it really interesting to see the stories of drag queens who are so passionate about what they do and not yet realized sort of in the mainstream as other really famous drag queens in the US uh, are. I think it's a little bit more of a humble beginning and it really puts into perspective how much these people sacrifice in order to do what they love and to be accepted by a community. Uh, I think this was a really well-made film and I really felt for the main characters. I would love to see a uh, full-length version of this following um, drag queens in smaller, more Republican U.S. towns and small cities. Um, but yeah, just a really well-edited, really well-constructed documentary about really interesting people. I thought this was a really great short documentary. I loved the character's perspective um, and also getting to see footage from their performances and then getting ready and just the way that the story was told. I thought worked really well and it was really well done. This is a really great doc. I, I really loved it. It was super moving and really tells a, a lot of story within a, a short amount of time. Um, and I, I would love to see it expanded into a feature and just learn more about these people. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It was just great people and, and really beautifully shot. Like it, It's not shot like a standard documentary so i really loved it i really loved this i thought that it was really raw and it was really like vulnerable um and having that and like had like sharing his story and kind of going through the the process of it all i thought was really fantastic to watch and to experience but the underlying tone of just like this raw vulnerability throughout the entire thing was so like lovely and like being able to watch that felt so like special um so i really really enjoyed it's it it's a very powerful but also sad message about being who you are but also coming out um it's very Coming out can be one of the scariest things to do because one of the things that we want is acceptance, but not only acceptance, but acceptance from our parents, the people who gave birth to us. Um, and one of the greatest fears is not only One of the greatest fears is not only to not be accepted for who you are, but also to be 
disgraced by the people who were supposed to love you. And I think it was a very powerful message just showing even through what can be considered one of the worst pains you could possibly go through that these people they still rose up and they still embraced who they were um and they found new ways to be happy uh i think that was beautiful i love this movie it was really it was really moving um documentary style um i, I really loved learning about uh, i live in california so we are a very uh, liberal state lots of freedom to be open and uh, gay and safe here um, lots of gay clubs I mean it's definitely would be safe it definitely would be safer here than in Wyoming to be open and um, and express yourself um, as a drag queen and um, it was it was it was interesting and eye-opening to get a little slice of um, Wyoming drag life. And I'm really happy that you made this movie because it needs to be seen, it needs to be understood that not everywhere is like California. So um, I, I love the, the people that are in it. I love the stories that were told. Um, I thought the structure, the editing, and the direction of the movie was really excellent. And um, yeah, you should be very proud. It's a beautiful film. Congratulations. <laughs>